Minasan, Kanichua, Jotaku Jodas, and welcome back to a last play of Metal Gear Solid, abridged. So we just beat in Sniper Wolf, and now we're going into the actual um, underground maintenance facility where Metal Gear is stored, where Metal Gear is kept hidden. So first of all, we're going into this part, like, yes. Got the name of it. The heat furnace or whatever it is. I don't know why it's called. It's, it's, it's gonna be called something. I forgot it. Yeah, my voice is a bit bad right now. I am just getting over the flu, so yes, uh, forgive me. So so yeah, sorry if the upload schedule is a bit off, so it's just the way it is. But yeah. I gotta avoid this stuff here. We gotta crouch. We gotta um, shimmy across this little thing. We gotta squeeze into this gap. And be careful not to knock our heads over. I think everyone died when they first played this. You know what I mean? They got knocked off the edge by this metal flipping thing. I don't even know what it is, but yeah. People got knocked out and died. <laughs> But yeah, you just crouch. I think in Metal Gear Solid 2, uh, hopefully maybe even the Twin Snakes, that you can crouch walk. So yeah, like, no shimmy. I hope so, that will be good. I have to play the Twin Snakes, actually. I, I want to play it, you know what I mean? But I feel like a lot of the stuff in the game, they carried all of the mechanics from MGS2 into this, and it doesn't kind of work. I feel like it, it makes the game a bit too easy and yeah it's just really questionable design like to have the same level layout I'm gonna just get some get some life restore my life by eating some rations but yes um yeah I feel like the level layout in Twin Snakes is just not as good main goal is to get the um the bulletproof fast which I always seem to forget there's a bulletproof fast in this game I know there's one in two but I, I forget there's one in this as well which I hardly get it it's really kept hidden just gotta avoid this dude here for some reason I don't properly the emulation I can't move well in first person view mode I can't move around normally you can look around like up down left right to look around can't seem to do that on first person view right now dead he's dead he's gone i'm not gonna pick up that ration because i there's a ration down here anyway so again i can't can't even see i don't like that camera oh okay there's a banister there i was like thinking going down the steps <laughs> like if i just jump right into the freaking um i don't know is it lava magma i don't know i don't know what it is magma i think it is i don't i can't even remember what it's called the hot stuff yeah that's called the hot stuff the hot soup we're gonna call it the hot soup this like whole area reminds me of like uh, terminator 2 judgment day i love that film i highly recommend oh wait i've never been here before this is the lift oh it's the lift that takes me back oh okay i didn't i didn't know that oh wait, yeah i'm remembering now yeah it's been ages since i played it Okay, that's nice. So I could just go on, on the lift if I want to. Ever want to go back. But I don't think we're going to go back. Not this far back anyway. Okay. Well, there's some ration there. Now, I, wouldn't, I would never touch that ration. It's way too close to the edge. I feel like they're baiting me. They're like, oh, you want to get this ration? But no, it looks too dangerous. I'm not going near the hot soup. No, no, nowhere. Okay. So, in this steam room, it's really hot. Very steamy as well. You gotta fight the steam pipes. God knows why. Like I said, the maintenance is ridiculous in this place. It shouldn't be like this. <laughs> I got hit. But yeah, this little area here is... We go through this area to get the bulletproof fast and the bulletproof fast is going to help us a lot in, in the boss fights especially like 
in the later half, the later boss fights. I should have got it earlier, the bu bulletproof fast, but it's all right. It's okay. Yeah, this is normal mode. I'm going to use uh, the chaff grenade here and just get my bulletproof armor. And I'll be armor king. Yes. Wrong game. Wrong game. Okay. Um, yeah, I was saying, like, Terminator 2, if you've not seen that movie, I highly suggest you do. It's one of the greatest movies ever made. It's by the same director as Avatar and Titanic. And that's like two of the highest grossing movies ever. So think about it. The director who did two of the highest grossing movies are now three of the highest grossing movies. Like, watch it. Dude's freaking... Aliens as well. Awesome. James Cameron is amazing. But yeah, freaking love Terminator 2. That's one of my favorite movies ever. I do like Aliens though. I think that's good. There's some really awesome movies. James Cameron just knows how to make a really good movie. And he's still a guy, hasn't he? You know what I mean? It's like Steven Spielberg. It, he's pretty good, but I feel he's kind of not as good as he used to be. Like years ago, you know what I mean? Like Jurassic Park, Jaws, they were awesome. He did some really cool stuff. But they say like, um, directing is a young man's game. So it's a bit quiet, but for some reason, like these guys come out of nowhere. I don't is. know why they just come out of nowhere. <laughs> It's, it's just the shouting they do, like, yeah, oh, it's, like, it's so cheesy and stupid. Wait a minute, wait, why am I, why is my gun off? There you go, I'm going to shooty, shooty. Shooty, shooty. Oh, it's the boss. I don't know, it's like, where did they come from? Like, I was sneaking around. If they ever did a remake of this game, maybe, I don't know. You know what was good? Uh, the underground base in Metal Gear Solid Ghost Battle. The Game Boy game, Metal Gear Solid Game Boy. I really liked the maintenance base in that. I thought it was far better And that when you see the Metal Gear, you can go around the Metal Gear. Like the whole level where the guards are and everything. It's like Metal Gear is in the middle and you're going around it with like these uh, platforms and stuff. And it's really good design. Way better than this. Sorry, Kojima. Sorry. Going going down these platform little li these elevator lifts. It's just not good design. I'm sorry. It's boring. Oh oh gosh, I totally forgot about this gun camera. That sucks. Totally forgot about that gun camera. Probably have to use the chaff next time when I'm down here. You wouldn't have guessed it, but it's actually um climber mines. It's like mines hidden. But yeah, I'm just so good that I just walked past it. I know where the mines are. I'm a psychic. I'm psychic, you see. Let's contact Master. See what he thinks of this stuff. There are a lot of crows around here. Those aren't crows. Those are northern ravens. The Inuit and other Native Americans worship northern ravens as creator deities. Some say that ravens have the power to predict death. The great poet Marlowe wrote about them in the 16th century. Thus, like the sad presaging raven that tolls the sick man's passport in her hollow beak, and in the shadow of the silent night doth shake contagion from her sable wings. That's pretty gloomy, Master. By the way... What? I've got something to tell you about Naomi Hunter. What about her? Is this conversation secure? Don't worry, the monitor's off. Okay. What's up? She might be a spy. What? Ridiculous. A spy? What? You better check it out. The chief and the president mysteriously dying, and that ninja? Too many strange things are happening. Are you saying that Naomi might be behind it? I don't know. Either that, or she's working with the terrorists. Could it be? If I find out anything, I'll call. In the meantime, be careful. No, you can't say that. Naomi is a spy? She's working with the terrorists? 
I want to ask you about Naomi. I'm looking into the details now, but it doesn't look good. Weren't you ever suspicious about her, Snake? Snake, keep your guard up. Do you see why I did that, Mel Gear fans? Did you see why I did that? Those who played the game hundreds of times like, wait a minute, it's so different. Yeah, it's abridged. <laughs> it's so, yeah, it's really fun editing this stuff. Now I'm thinking like I have to like edit it in a way where now I'm thinking okay how, how am I going to edit it I hope I don't edit myself into a corner where it like completely destroys the narrative and it's like oh man I hope I can consistently go through the story I'm still playing this right now like but I have to constantly think of the editing so I'm in my mind I'm thinking of the plot and how what where I can edit it I'm thinking yeah like I I, I know how, how I'm gonna do it but right now for the moment I'm still a bit oh I need to figure out but yeah I'm thinking that part where I know gamer Gil Gab as well if you know her she's played Metal Gear Solid as well I'll link her last play in the video she's done a pretty good uh, last play as well but yeah, I'm at where she is, but she did like, like hours. It took like 14 hours to get where I am now, where it's took considerably less time for me because I've abridged it. But yeah, here we are up against fucking Raven, the fucking Raven boss, big boy boss. Welcome, Cossack. This is the end of the road for you. Right, my friends? Listen, they agree. Ravens aren't scavengers like most people think. They're simply returning to the natural world, that which is no longer needed. Sometimes they even attack wounded foxes. You were the one in the M1 tank? Must have been a tight fit for a big boy like you. <laughs> But that was no true battle. The Ravens and I were testing to see what kind of man you were. The judgment is decided. The Ravens say you are a true warrior. Am I hallucinating? I can't move. The Raven has put the mark of death upon you. Blood from the east flows within your veins. Ah, your ancestors too were raised on the barren plains of Mongolia. Inuit and Japanese are cousins to each other. We share many ancestors, you and I. I don't have any crows in my family tree. <laughs> you jest, but indeed ravens and snakes are not the best of friends. Nevertheless, you will make a worthy adversary. You live in Alaska, too. You know of the World Eskimo Indian Olympics? Yeah, I know it. it. Must be a real threat in the muck duck eating contest. Yes, you are right. But there is another event that I excel at. It is called the Ear Pull. It is an event where two opponents pull each other's ears while enduring the harsh cold. It tests spiritual as well as physical strength. You want to pull each other's ears? The form is different, but the spirit is the same. Rejoice, Snake! Ours will be a glorious battle. This isn't glorious, it's just plain killing. Violence isn't a sport. Well, we'll see if there is iron in your word. 